paper, no phone, no texting, no writing, nobody telling me what to say. This from the brain, from the heart, from the soul, from the streets. I'm a bitch from the streets. I get the money. Making money with my eyes closed. That thinking she tough, but I'm psycho. I just moved out my city. My pockets got filthy. Not that doubt in me. Mind me. Even if it ain't by the chat, I could never sweat them like the weave in my head. I know they sick, got their stomach upset. They didn't listen when I said I was mad. Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it is your first time. So today's video is going to be kind of like a maintenance day in my life and pretty much like my entire maintenance routine, how I get ready and get club ready. So I'm starting off at the beauty supply store, which is where I got my wig from. And I've just been loving these synthetic wigs lately. Honestly, I have no shame. And here are my dookie braids. And I'm going to kind of brush my hair back so I can put on my wig cap. And the wig I got was super, super cute. I really loved it. I'm going to show you guys. And it was only like $70. So, um, hello, synthetic wigs for the win. So here she is. This is the Outre Sleek Lay Part wig um, in the style Dahlia, 34 inches. And I'm just brushing it out. I put foundation on the lace to make sure it matches my skin. And spray got to be sprayed just to keep the foundation in place. And please excuse me, I was chewing gum, which I don't know why, but I learned this technique from another YouTuber, but I can't remember who it is, but she puts powder like on the lace and it kind of shows her where to put the glue and kind of gives her like a better line. So I tried that this time I did my wig and I really liked it a lot because it helps me put my wig in exactly the right spot. Waiting for that first layer of glue to dry and then I add another layer. And the glue I'm using is Bold Hold Active, which I almost ran out because I just use it so much. And I wipe off that powder with alcohol before I go in and place my wig right where it needs to be. I wrap it up and blow dry it just to make sure that that glue is really dry because I tend to sweat a lot when I dance and I can't have my lace lifting. So I gotta make sure it's 100% dry. I did put a little bit too much glue, so I had to wipe that off with alcohol, but I did finesse this wig for sure. Now for some baby hairs.
and I tried to curl them like I've seen everybody on TikTok doing but that did not work and I actually burned my forehead like twice so I just gave up at that point. And I went in with my flat iron just to flatten the top and make sure that everything was as flat as possible and as smooth as possible. And here's how she is looking. She came out really, really cute. I just added some water. And 10 out of 10, definitely giving what it's supposed to give. Would recommend. So now that my wig is done, it's time for me to do my nails. And for my nails, um, I have beef with the nail salon because every time I go, they just never do my nails right. And it's always something wrong and I'm not happy with. So I started doing my nails by myself. So first thing I do is I clip my nails really, really short. And these are the press-ons I'm gonna be using. They're literally $10 and they are so cute. Like they look like a $100 set. So after I um, clip my nails, I file them down to kind of like roughen the surface so the glue lasts longer. And I didn't show this on camera, but I did wipe off my nails with alcohol and now I'm adding glue. And we're just gonna press and hold until the glue dries. And that's pretty much how I do my nails. And they last me like at least like a week and a half before I have to start like popping them back on. But I always keep the glue in my dance bag. So if my nails pop off, I just glue them back on. And I wasn't happy with how um, the first one came out, so I ended up ripping that one off and I redid it because I just wasn't happy with how it was looking. But yeah, the rest of my nails came out really, really cute. I'm super in love with these press-ons. I've had them like three times because they just look so expensive. But they're really not at all. And this is the final product. I think they're so, so cute. And 
They definitely look like they took hours at the nail salon, but they didn't. DIY, honey, $10. So next thing I'm gonna be doing is my wax. And I always do my wax by myself because I feel like whenever I go to the nail salon, they just really can't get the spots that I need to get because, you know, like, I just need to get all the spots. And I shave my legs and I wax every other part of my body. So, yeah. Hey, y'all. So, I did my full little routine, and it is 7.15, and I'm about to get some food before work. So I'm actually going to work early, early today, just cause, I don't know, that's just what I felt like doing today. Um, but I'm at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. So I'm just gonna grab something real quick. Welcome to Tropical Smoothie Cafe, you can only part, okay? Um, hold on a second, please. Um, I'm gonna go inside. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So their drive through isn't taking orders, so I'm just going to go inside real quick. Yeah, sometimes we live, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby, I took a half, she took the whole thing, slow down. Baby, we took a trip, now we on your block, and it's like a ghost town. Where did these niggas be at when they say they doing all this and all that? Tired of peeping your walls, you can't even pay me a new story. You waking up in the crib, I don't even know where I'm at. Please don't pay that nigga to this party, I can't even listen to that. Can you turn that around into somebody who be a victory lap? Hey, Shotty come sit on my lap. They say I'm Tracy, just snap. This in between us, it's not like a store, it's just an unclosable gap. Hey, I see some niggas attack. I got to work early round of applause for me I got to work early and I feel like that's the reason why I had a good night because I got to work at nine o'clock and before midnight I already made a little bag and then after midnight I made a little bag so I'm pretty pretty happy about that I had like a couple and they got a fantasy room and um they ended up tipping me really, really good because the girl was like really sweet. And then um, these two hood niggas got a fantasy room, which I love it when hood niggas get fantasy rooms because first of all, they don't be expecting nothing to happen. And second of all, they don't really be caring. Like they just be so chill. So they got a fantasy room. And our fantasy rooms are 
for either 30 minutes or an hour and the minimum we do is 400 so my goal is like when i go to work is really just try, try to sell a fantasy room and then i know i'm gonna have a good night because once i get that 400 then i can make some money on stage get some money from some regular dances and usually fantasy rooms are like easier to sell on the weekend but lately i haven't been selling a lot of fantasy rooms because i feel like the club has been kind of slow but um tonight was good i got two tonight so clearly tonight was a good night i don't know why tonight was a good night maybe people got paid or something i do not know when people get paid um from like their regular jobs people who get paid every two weeks but it was a good night i can't wait to do this money count for you guys definitely can't wait but i'm gonna go home i'll see you guys when i get home i feel like i did not vlog anything tonight I vlogged like a little bit of scenes, but I didn't show like my outfit or anything just because I wear the same outfit that I like always, always, always wear. I've had like a lot of the same dance outfits since I started dancing, so I just wore one of those. But yeah, I feel pretty good about tonight. I'm super happy, super grateful. I, it just feels good. Like, and. It's kind of hard to explain, but since I've been used to having like consistent $1,000 nights in Vegas, they don't really hit as hard. You know what I mean? They don't really hit so hard. But tonight, I know that I made over $1,000. I don't know how much over, but I know for a fact that I made over $1,000. So I'm pretty excited because I just like the, like sometimes it ain't even about the money. Sometimes it's just about the feeling of like, knowing that i did good today do you know what i mean but i'm literally like close to the house and i take a different route home every day so i'll update you guys when i get to the crib and yeah today was a good day hey y'all so i just got back from work and i put my bonnet on took my lashes off i'm about to wash my face take off all this makeup Hop in a shower, roll up, and then we're gonna get into the money count. Um, about 7 15 I woke up at like 5 o'clock and then I laid in bed for two hours because I was so tired and now I'm about to get up and start my day I'm sorry if it's loud there's a lot of noise in the background I'm gonna go to work tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and do this money count for you guys let me close the door guys hop in the shower go get some food and then I'm about to go to work tonight so we're gonna do it all over again but that's not gonna be in this vlog, that's gonna be in the next vlog. So right now what I'm about to do is do this money count for you guys and then I'm about to close out this video. So yeah, yesterday was like a really, really, really good night. Um, I had this couple that was like, hey, do you wanna do a VIP with us? And they were super fun, super awesome. And it was like this, this lady that was like 20 years younger than her husband or whatever. And she just kept asking him for money to give and so they really like balled out and then I had this dude that came with his friend and I didn't even have to talk to them this girl literally came up to me and she was like hey do you want to do this fantasy room and I was like yeah I'll do the fantasy room what the heck like of course I'll do it and he was super super chill um it was a good night so I I don't know it just be those moments where like it's just the most randomest of ways but it wasn't really that many girls in the club most of the girls have already left and that's when one of the other dancers asked me if i wanted to do a room with this other guy who she was trying to like get both of them to do rooms because they were two friends that came together and so overall i had a great night so i'm gonna do this count for you guys real real quick and then i'm about to close out this video so i can make the next video for you guys so First of all, I have $400 in my cash app, which I did a half hour. And so I have $400 in my cash app and I'm gonna put the screenshot right here. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and we're starting at 400. This is 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, and 1,100. So this is $1,100. And then 50, 50, that's 1,200. 1,300. So one, two, three, four, five, that's 1,400. One, two, three, four, five, fifteen hundred. One, two, three, four, five, sixteen hundred. One, two, three, four, five, seventeen hundred. One, two, three, four, five, that's eighteen hundred. One, two, three, four, five, nineteen hundred. One, two, three, four, five, that's two thousand. One, two, three. So this is 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. So $2,100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So that's $2,140. 2141, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine. So that is twenty one hundred and fifty dollars. So tonight was the best night that I've ever had, like since I've been dancing. And Las Vegas is popping, period. Like, I love my club. I'm so so grateful. If y'all have been watching my channel for a long time, y'all know that I was not making money like this in Texas at all. Like, it would take me like two weeks a week to make what i just made last night in texas so dancing is really different if you live in like a small small city versus like a big city but i love las vegas because i feel like i fit in and i feel like um it's good stage money and i'm very good on stage i've been pole dancing but I've been working on it more and more and more since I've moved because Las Vegas is really, really big on like that entertainment, like that performance aspect. And then um, I did a lot of dances. It was a lot of customers. And my club has this thing where the minimum you can get um, on a dance is $100. We don't do single dances. We do three dances for $100, which is the minimum. So I really like that because the minimum you're going to get out of someone is $100. So even if you only talk to two or three people in the whole night and say they get a dance with you, you're already at $300. Say you go on stage once or twice and you make $100 the first time you go on stage, you make $100 the second time you go on stage, then you're already at $500. So I really, really like that. And also we do rooms, which none of the clubs that I've worked at in Texas had like good like customers that would actually be willing to spend money. Like the clubs that I worked at in Texas would have rooms, but the girls that were either doing the rooms were doing a bunch of crazy stuff in the rooms or um you know they just people just wouldn't buy them like they would be cheap they would feel like spending a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars is a lot of money whereas like i just had a couple yesterday that spent over a thousand dollars and not even all of it went to me they spent two hundred dollars on bottle they tipped the the host the the waitresses like everything so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a big thumbs up Thumbs up for the bonnet. Thumbs up for the bonnet that match with the nails. Thumbs up. Okay, period. I love you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all. It's the racks for me.